free. What is up guys and girls, it's Porky Pilot here. Uh, sorry if I'm not uh, flying recently, I've been too busy with work. Um, but there is going to be a big flight coming up soon, where we will be flying to Led 2K. Uh, that should be, we'll be doing the flight on the 24th of May. So anytime the weekend after that, expect the video to be up. Um, but today uh, brings me, because I've been sponsored by AFE, um, which are a pilot shop basically. They sell things for pilots such as flight guides, charts, headphones, any bits of equipment that you'd need really to fly. Um, so today I've been sponsored by AFE and they have given me one of their, see if I can pick this up, one of their flight guides, as you can see here. Um, flight guides are very useful, very useful things to have because they contain all the assem essential information um, for the airfields within the UK. Like, so I turn to, the air, let's go to the airfield of Matt. It's all in alphabetical order, so you can't really get lost unless you don't know the alphabet, but if you don't know the alphabet, then how are you a pilot? <laughs> I guess that'd be a thing. So say we turn to the airfield that I'm at now, which is one of the best airfields in the UK, which is Wellsbourne. Um, it's information service airfield. Um, it tells you little things such as the coordinates of the airfield. It tells you the procedures, such as circuit procedures. As you can see, grab this. don't know how well that's showing up the camera, but you can see, see that. Um, it tells you the radios that you need, um, which is always good to have up to date, because as I know, Wellsbourne, Oh, I'm getting stank here. Wiles one have just changed from 124025 to 12403, which really confused me. But this book, it tells me that they have changed. I'm on the wrong page here. There we go. It tells me that they have changed it to 12403, which is good. Um, but what tells you different like nav things, such as beacons and stuff around. Um, it will tell you the joining and landing information, what you need to do. Tell you if you need to book prior to landing at the airfield. Um, tells you the layouts, so it tells you the taxiways that you need to follow. Uh, tells you the runways, so you don't get lost, of course, which is quite important. You never want to get onto the wrong runway, which is a bit, always a bit of a difficult one. Um, it's all in full colour. There's no black and white, so nothing can be done. It tells you where trees are, little buildings to avoid, um, no fly areas. It basically, tells you what a child does, but socialised on an air, or localised on an airfield. It tells you the lighting that the airport has. Um, tells you the operational hours of the airport, tells you the landing fees, if the airport has customs, so if you're flying from abroad, say you're flying from France to here, um, you need to know if you can get customs booked so you can use your passport and get into the country. Um, tells you the maintenance here, and tells you the remarks of the airfield, such as this um, PPR, so it's, I can't remember what that stands for, but it means to book in before you land, um, otherwise the aircraft will not be accepted. Um, Tells you to contact Wildsborne at least 10 minutes before you, before arriving. Located under Birmingham CTA. And if it's like, it tells you warnings as well. Like runway 23 not available. Um, even though at Wildsborne it is available on weekdays. And yeah, weekdays I believe it is. Because the market isn't on there. So if there's a strong crosswind, you do have an option to land on another runway. Which is always good for Wildsborne. In operating hours, so 0800 to 1630 in the summer. 09 to 13, uh, sorry, 1730 in the winter. Which is always brilliant. Plus or minus 30 minutes, of course. Um, do, 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 tells you the circuits. So fixed wing, we're at 1,000 feet QFE. Um, Heli's at 800 foot Q, uh, QNH. And 600 QFE. Uh, tells you the facilities. There's disabled facilities, fuel, um, phonings, restaurant, uh, touchdown restaurant at Wildsbourne is one of the best. I'll tell you that for a fact. Um, but, so, this video, again, I'd like to thank you, AFE, for giving me the flight guide. Uh, to the video for hopefully our partnership may be good and we can have more products more reviews more videos like this uh, but there will be more flying again and i'd like to thank take flight aviation based at wowsbourne um, for letting me use their aircraft to record this video in and it is a club that i fly for today i'm sat in a pa28 which i'm not rated to fly at this moment in time due to money reasons of course but things should get better eventually i hope um, and also i'd like to take a minute to uh, follow the link in this uh, description to a website called save wowsbourne so at the moment, Wellsbourne is under a lot of threat um, due to people wanting to build houses on it. I don't get what it is, people's obsession with building homes, but they want to close this lovely airfield. It's one of the best in the UK. It's centralised. It's perfect. It's very busy. It's always busy, especially on hot days like this. It's about 22, degree, 22 degrees today, so I'm kind of roasting on these black leather seats in APA 28. Um, but yeah, so please take your time to fill out the form and save Wellsbourne. Maybe add a donation towards it. Uh, just to help, that would be much grateful. It would help me keep making my videos and would save me having to travel to places like Coventry or Oxford or Gloucester. As well as one, it's local airfield, it's close to everyone's hearts and it's, it's, it's needed really. It's beautiful. 
all right, we'll always take a time to fly in here, maybe meet up, do a flight together. Never know, just message me. I'm always happy to um, answer messages. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you on the other side. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, 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 yeah